present, and on our first responders. Veterans News is brought to you each week by Bob Wines Camellia Gardens and Nursery, keeping you blooming since 1952. All right, just about five minutes after 8 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in here at the Studios of the Source. It is currently 40... Five degrees. Looks like it's going to warm up into the mid 80s today, mid 50s tonight as the low. Not a bad looking forecast, and that is the uh, the way it is expected to be the entire week, including Friday for First Friday Art Walk and Saturday for the Strawberry Festival mm-hmm. and the Special Olympics. Uh, it's going to be it's going to be a good week. And Galen Newell is out there right now on the phone from Life South Community Blood Center, and got a letter I need to read to him from a lady in Canada. Mm-hmm. Good morning, Galen. Hey, good morning, Larry, Robin. How are y'all? What, what, what is this? Is this like addressed to me specifically, or is this just like in general? Oh, it's addressed to me, but it, but it, she asked me to speak to you about something. Yes. Oh, no. Yeah. Like, do I need to like have a run into a dead zone on my cell phone? <laughs> it was well written, I thought. <clears throat> oh, that makes it worse. <laughs> I, mean, I, never, I, I, I mean, you know, I, when you... It's one thing, like, if you get somebody that doesn't like you and it's, like, got typos and grammatical errors. And, like, ah, uh, you can dismiss it, but it's when it's really well written mm. and yes. it knocks you right between the eyes and it's like, oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess they have a point. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> you think you're passionate and you think you're right, you, you have to rethink it and go, oh, you're already, yeah, you're, you know, yeah. Ken's already yeah. rehearsing. He's already rehearsing oh, yeah, his reply. <laughs> As I've said many times, I, I think they offer a lot of things to this country. <laughs> <not the driving. laughs> yeah. Beer, bacon. That was too funny. Beer too and too bacon. funny, too funny. <laughs> Half of Niagara Falls. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to check your passport at the border, Maybe we, Before we do anything, I... I oh, no, I, they won't let me go back into uh, Canada. <laughs> I think I've been barred because of this show. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was sweet, though. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, before we do anything, I have to tell you that there are two ribbon cuttings today. I, I hope they donate blood, though, despite my... <laughs> <laughs> oh, they do. We were in the we were in a Life South blood mobile mm-hmm. last time we donated blood, and there were yes. two ladies there from Nova Scotia. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Nova Scotia. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> right. And they donated. I, I don't think that's... A, that, that was more like an that, upper peninsula. Yeah, that was Minnesota. That All was right. Minnesota. Yeah, mm-hmm. Minnesota. <laughs> All right. Sorry, Lee. In Nova Scotia. <laughs> <laughs> Or, or maybe you were trying to do uh, what was that? Uh, oh, the, the Swedish? You were doing Swedish? The Swedish chef? Thing. I don't know what I was doing. That yeah. was really yeah. good. Joe so, can do that. Anyway, there are two uh, ribbon cuttings today. One at noon. One at two p.m. Uh, the one at noon is at the Harder Insurance Agency, not too far from here, thirty-one thirty-one Southwest College Road, Suite four hundred five. They're having a ribbon cutting. This is from the Ch- Ocala Marion County Chamber and Economic Partnership, by the way. So theirs is at 12 noon today. The one at 2 o'clock is over at Marion Senior Services at 1101 Southwest 30th Court here in Ocala. Mm-hmm. The ribbon cutting for them as well. So go support their businesses and yep. sign up for the Ocala Marion County Chamber and Economic Partnership and grow your business by networking. That's the whole point of the whole thing. Gamlin, do you go to those uh, those those functions for the chamber? Uh, not anymore. I mean, I you know I used to be an ambassador a long time ago, and I've been to all of them. So. Tom Davis goes on behalf. Uh, of yeah, yeah Tom's mm-hmm. our guy now. Mm-hmm. Tom's our Tom's our local man. He's your yeah. local guy. Yeah, he's the guy. Yeah, and uh, he's at everything. By the way, he's at like five places at the same time. Yeah, yeah. He'll, he'll probably be at the strawberry festival this Saturday, right? I think we are. Yeah, I think uh, the Bloodmobile's actually there. Yeah, so probably. I need to verify that, but I hope so. Yeah, you were there last year. You were there year. last year. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you had good turnout last year, I think. I remember. If I remember. I right. don't think we gave there. We are year. there. Yeah, I just verified that. Okay, we are there. Good, Nine good, to good. five. We, we, we love the Habitat for Humanity. We've been partners for a long time. Thanks in large part to this show. Yeah. All right. All right, excellent. All right, let's uh, get the, the uh, report on the blood supply, and then I will read to you a letter <laughs> from. Louise Gardiner from Vancouver. I love Louise. What Va- a beautiful name. Van- <laughs> Vancouver? Vancouver, <laughs> British Columbia, yes. Wow, that's way over there. Yeah, it is okay. way. I know, it's the um, other side of the world. We are, uh, we're, we're good. We have uh, just over a two day blood supply. This has been a good week for us uh, so far. We had a really good day yesterday for a Monday. That's cool. um, so we just need people to continue to come out and give the gift of life and donate blood. And uh, uh, when you see the blood mobile, stop in and more importantly, bring a friend or drag a friend. 
<laughs> and uh, you had a wonderful turnout on Saturday for the Parrot Hat Club. Yeah, we really did. We were we were really happy about that. Uh, the, we 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 love the Parrot Head because it's any kind of a group like that that uh, is that organized usually has a good following. So um, good music, good food. It was fun. The uh, important part of this chat with Galen every morning, the part that reminds us that we have to donate blood if we want a blood supply, is made possible by two great sponsors. Those sponsors are Penn Flooring and Palm Garden. Penn Flooring has some beautiful flooring. Go check it out. You're going to sp- listen to uh, Joe Reichel later on. He's going to talk about remodeling your home. You might yep. want to. You don't want to forget the floor. Uh, Penn. I wonder if he'll mention Dan's golf game. Who? I'll text Joe and ask him. Joe. Joe Reichel. Joe has played. Why well, does he, 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 he golfs too golf with, Dan? with Dan? Does he go out with oh, you? Oh yeah, guys? he's played with him. Yeah. Does yeah. he play with you? I played with him a couple of times. I played with him a couple of times. Are you better, than, better Joe? than Joe? I know you don't like Tiger yeah. Woods, but are you the Tiger yeah. Woods of, <laughs> of your little click? Of your little click? No, I just uh, I play with a lot of people who just aren't very good because it makes me feel good about myself. <laughs> Well, you would love playing with us then, because you'd be on top no, of us. No, no, he would hate are, playing with you, us. You guys, uh, no. No, we're too, <laughs> you, you we're too bad. I could play with you guys, because you guys would like listening to music when you play. <sighs> I, I have to listen to music when I play. So you guys would like that. So. Oh, oh we would like playing right. with you, but you wouldn't like playing with us. Yeah. You, you, yeah, you, you, you no, no, you would say, I can't wait for this to be done. <laughs> you would, I cannot wait. Well, for that's this. how I feel when I play with Dan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> God. Uh, sometimes. Uh, Pan Flooring has some beautiful flooring. Go to 1201 Southwest 17th Street and check out the flooring. And go to Palm Garden and find out the, pr- the services that they provide. You might need, or somebody you love might need, long-term health care, skilled mm-hmm. nursing he- health care, a good place, a good place to have some rehabilitation, maybe following something really serious, some heart condition, heart surgery, mm-hmm. heart uh, pacemaker, that kind of thing. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and uh, also, uh, if you need some some relief, a little break, if mm-hmm. you're a, a caregiver, respite. yeah, you can take advantage of their respite program, and uh, it's kind of like daycare for daddy. And uh, <laughs> 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 I just have the wing house girls there, and he'll be fine. I like that daycare wow. for daddy. That's wow. right. I love that. Yeah, where'd that come from? Where'd that come from? Wow. I don't know. Anyway. I was still stuck on the wing house thing. <laughs> <laughs> Take care for daddy. Why is that where... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Take, take yeah, just keep going, Larry. Just grab out your shovel. And <laughs> so thank those folks. All right, here, let me read the letter you got. You got a letter from... Uh, I got the letter, actually. Handwritten in an envelope through the U.S. mail. <laughs> Not an email. It's from Louise Gardner, Vancouver, British Columbia. It says, Dear Mr. Radio Man. She doesn't even know my name. Yeah. Radio <laughs> Man, I love it. It says, Radio Morning Host, WOCA. That's what it said on the thing. Love it. Well, Love we don't it. say our names. Because my name. Well, she doesn't know here. my name either, so that way I can. She doesn't seem to know your me. name. She doesn't. See, she calls you Blood Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it could be Tom. She could be talking about Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Mister Radio Man, please tell the Blood Man that the way to a man's heart is through his stomach, quote unquote. And so, as a proud Canadian, please pass on these twenty-six Canadian foods. That will change his mind <laughs> about those of us in the GWN. With all due respect, Louise Gardner, no relation to Phyllis Wardner. I don't know what that means, but that's what it says. Okay, must okay. be something Galen knows. You know what that's talking no, about? No, I, I, I got nothing. No. All right, now do you know that what may, G... That may be a Canadian thing. They, they have their own humor. Do you know what GWN <laughs> is? Do you know what GWN is? GWN. Yeah. No. I had to look it up. It's the Great White North. Oh, okay. See, again, they have their own humor. Yeah. <laughs> it will change his mind about those of us There are the people GW. on the highway not right now laughing and swerving at <laughs> so the cl- <laughs> So clearly, this car. is not a Canadian lady who's angry with you. She wants to just introduce you to some Canadian foods, 26 specific. I, I probably, I, you know, I love can- I love food. Do you? I love the Canadians themselves. <laughs> All right, here we gladly go. take a road trip with them if they didn't drive. I mean, I, I've made that clear. You'd have to be the driver. 
Right. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. They, well, they now, see, the yeah. see th- this morning, I, I got on the road I come here. It's a 40-mile-per-hour road. My speedometer mm. said 42 miles per hour. I knew I was speeding a, yeah. a slight bit. Yeah. I turned light That's at the right, and so all these headlights were, were like, behind me. <laughs> and, and I'm thinking, I wonder how far I'll go before I get past, because <laughs> typically I will get past. So I'm clearly a mile ahead before that light turns green. I said, uh-huh. whoa, I'm way ahead of them. I'm going to get all the way to the end before... You over by turn. public so you yeah. probably have to turn no no <laughs> they were passing me every single one and I'm 142 there's no way they should have caught up to me no, if, if they were going to speed limit to go, people to see no yeah. it's a 40 mile per hour so river. I'm probably viewed as a Canadian driver by them <laughs> no only if you're in the left lane um. <laughs> With an RV. Yeah. All right. <laughs> With let's, an RV. Let's take a break. I got the uh, 26 Canadian foods that Louise Gardner wants Galen to know about. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. Lots of sunshine on this Tuesday with a high of 79 to 83. Partly cloudy Tuesday night. Lows in the mid-50s in a few inland spots. About 61 at the coast. Times of clouds and sunshine are warm for Wednesday. The high 77 to 81. Thursday more the same. Partly sunny. High 77 to 81. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Tick-tock, the days fly by, and refined tax season is upon us once again. Not to worry, though. With a reputable CPA firm on your side, you can rest assured that all of your needs will be handled in a professional and thorough manner. Robson, Scribner, and Stewart is just that firm. They're there for their clients year-round, not just during tax season, to handle your needs and answer any questions you may encounter. At Robson, Scribner, and Stewart, there is no client too small or too large. Their expertise ranges from the single individual to the largest of corporations. Get your return prepared by a professional who will use their years of experience to ensure that your tax returns outcome will leave you in the best possible position. Call them today at 694-4184. Robson, Scribner, and Stewart. They're there for you today. Again, that number is 694-4184. Time is of the essence, so don't delay. 694-4184. a garden and we've got a show for you called you've got a garden with your host master gardener carol ann baldwin carol ann answers your questions about your flowers your veggies your grass your trees even questions about your bugs and she's only on woca so don't miss carol ann baldwin and you've got a garden each tuesday from 9 a.m to 10 a.m right here on woca the source all right, 17 minutes after 8 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. Galen Unold is on the phone. We have 26 Canadian foods that the lady in Vancouver, British Columbia, wants them to try. I just looked at the postmark, by the way. She did, she did mail it from Ocala, so she must listen locally. Yeah, must, I would think Maybe so. she's a snowbird or something yeah. listening over here. But anyway, that was fun. Fun letter. Thank you for the letter. And, and the, the food. Wait till we hear the food. So. Yeah. <laughs> but Galen, during the break, Robin told me that spring training starts today. Oh, I've cool. always wanted to go to one of these games. Uh huh. So spring which training. one, Galen? Which one should I go to? Well, I'll tell you, you can go right down to Lakeland and, and go watch the Tigers. Uh, I no, think Detroit. today they play the yeah Detroit Tigers, and I think today they play the uh, Pittsburgh Pirates. Pirates are a pretty exciting team. Um, I think you'll see Justin Verlander pitch today for in Lakeland for Detroit. Good pitcher. His girlfriend's really, really hot. Kate Upton. She could be there. <laughs> oh, she's a would, supermodel would, which would be, actress. Yeah, she she was. Yeah, she's a. Are the tickets model. are the she tickets would be expensive? Worth the price of no, they're probably like twenty bucks because that's not a really popular game. Um, you can also go see the the Braves and the Orioles. I think are playing today. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, as long as you stay away from the glamour teams and. You know, like the Yankees and the Red Sox. Do they play on Saturday? I don't think I could. I don't think I would ever oh, go on a weekday. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But he, um, and again, you could go from here to Orlando and, and watch a game in the afternoon. And uh, sometimes they play at night, so uh, it, it's it's just a lot of fun. It's uh, you see big league talent, you know, in a more intimate setting. Uh, it, it's it would probably be like if you went and saw uh, a rock band. Um, in a coffee go house. Go and play like a, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. An afternoon yeah. game would like be fun. Like an unplugged session. It's it's cool. I, I, I really, really love spring training games. Um, I do. I, I enjoy them a lot. Was so a, I'm excited. It's March 1. I love March 1st. 
Was yeah. Kate Upton the one in the Sports Illustrated swimsuit yes. uh, issue last year in the parka? Like when they took those photos like in Antarctica or Alaska We don't or usually see the clothing. I don't know. I'm going to have to defer to Larry because Larry is the <laughs> SI swimsuit specialist. Okay. I don't usually notice the clothing. Yeah, she's gorgeous. Just just Google her. Yeah. I will. Fantastic. Google her. All right. <laughs> An afternoon game would be All fun. right, Louise is anxious. She wants me to get okay. get on with this. <laughs> All right. Poor Galen. <laughs> All right, the first, the first things, uh, poutine. Have you ever had poutine? No. Me either. <laughs> what is it? Poutine. <laughs> All right, uh, Louise says, it is French fries with cheese curd and brown gravy. It is delicious. Oh. Okay. French fries with cheese curd and brown gravy. Poutine. No, healthy. <laughs> I like cheese curds. Okay. They're really good. All right, poutine goes. I don't like cheese curds. P- poutine goes with a lot of things. It's best as a side dish to the next thing: Montreal smoked meat pickled in br- uh No, hold on. Oh, <laughs> <Hold on>. Montreal <laughs> smoked meat pickled. <laughs> no, I read it wrong. Montreal oh. smoked meat sandwich. A Montreal smoked meat sandwich. Have you ever had that, Galen? What, what What's different about Montreal meat? I don't know. Um. Now, there's a seasoning called Montreal seasoning, which I like and I use. I put it on my steak. That must be what this is. Cause it says it's like a pastrami sandwich, sandwich, but spiced differently. Okay. I like pastrami. She could have just said pastrami mm. with Montreal it's steak It's very seasoning. red. It doesn't even look cooked. Oh. It's very red. Is pastrami red when it's cooked, Robin? It, yeah, yeah, sort of. No. No? no it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's brown. Is, uh, red is raw. Cooked. Looks very red to red me. Red is raw. Okay. I, like, I like my pastrami red. Yeah. <laughs> Montreal's Jewish immigrants have their own spin on pastrami, uh, but they have different bagels in Montreal than you might find in New York. So they put on bagels? Really? The sandwiches with Montreal smoked meat on a bagel? I don't know. I don't know. So Montreal, right. Montreal bagels. Oh, that's the next food. Okay. Yeah, that's the next food. Oh, okay. And then there's the pea meal bacon. The pea meal bacon. Have you ever had pea meal bacon? No, I, I, I'm shocked. I thought I was well versed in my Canadian cuisine. It's cuisines, pork. It's pork loin pickled in brine and then huh? rolled in cornmeal. Dude, they like pickles so far. A lot of pickling. Pea. A lot of pickling. Pea meal bacon. I don't do a lot of pickling meat. <laughs> yeah. All right, and there's a dessert she's recommending. It's the. Uh, Nanaimo bar. Nana- How do you spell that? N a n a i m o, n a n a i m o. One of the most common desserts in Canada. The Nanaimo bar. Okay. <laughs> Never heard of it. About okay. This. By the way, the uh, the pork loin thing, the yeah. pea, the pea bacon. It says here a million times better than the Canadian bacon. Now that's just crazy talk. <laughs> Nothing's a thousand times better than any kind of bacon. <laughs> I mean, granted, Canadian bacon is just ham, mm-hmm. but uh, yeah. And then there's bannock. Uh, bannock is also on this list. B a n n o c. Huh? I've heard of this. Yeah, I've heard of this. It's. Uh, let's see. A r- Bannock. It says you can make it while camping. It's it's griddled bread, but there's a special way to do it, and there's you a make recipe. Griddled bread, camping. <laughs> Did she attach the recipe, Larry? I may need that because you know. No, she just sent me a link. I just went to the link, so I'm looking at the stuff I printed up off the link. Uh, you put okay. bread on a fry pan and you griddle it up. Is that the same thing, Bannock? Never heard of that. Uh, you can use Bannock instead of bread in anything. Uh, you can have Bannock dogs, Bannock burgers. Oh. Ban- ban- <laughs> I've had I've had this. Yeah, I've had this. And then there's right. tout 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 tour tour It's a traditional Quebec meat pie. It's a Quebec meat pie, Galen, made out of beef, pork, or veal. Okay. There you go. A Quebec meat pie. Oh, oh, it doesn't look good to we me. We eat a lot of meat pies in uh, in this country. I mean, that's a very British European thing. Canadian too, apparently. Well, Canadians consider themselves European. All right, they, they are like American. They do. All right, all right. America. Let's see. Uh, they have Joker. potato chips up there. Ruffles potato chips that come in uh, flavors we don't see here. It's the European o- flavors. <laughs> uh. Oh my gosh! How do you read this? All dressed. A, 
S S A L S O N N E E S. Asalanese. Salmonella. <laughs> Must be some kind of spice. Hold just the Salonese ruffles, whatever that is. Okay. They have ketchup flavored uh, Lay's potato chips. We don't have them in America, in the U- USA. Oh, thank God. Oh, ketchup. Oh. Uh, oh. They discontinued them in the U.S. Also, hickory sticks. Oh, why in the heck would you want ketchup on your potato chips? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a big ketchup guy anyway. That's, come on, that's pushing it. Uh, All they, right. They also have a brand of potato chips up in Canada you can't get here. It's called President's Choice Potato Chips. You can get hot dog flavored potato chips. Do they even have a president there? Yeah. Yeah, oh, I think they do. Ever, I thought he was like some minister or something. something. <laughs> yeah, oh, the prime, He's prime minister. minister. Probably, yeah. He's not a president. Prime they don't minister. even know what a president is. <laughs> Uh, hickory uh, sticks, you said, though. Hickory sticks, yeah, it was another thing. Uh, let's see. They have PB&J ice cream that you can't get in the, in the USA. I, I, I may open up to that. I, I'm a big peanut butter ice cream yeah. guy. I, I try to try it with the jelly. And pink lemonade flavored ice cream. They don't have that in the USA either. Uh, yeah, well, we have it as like a, like a, a freeze drink at Sonic. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> That's really? right. Sonic. Uh, He's maple candy coated bacon. Have you ever had maple candy coated bacon? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Now there's nothing wrong with getting a little maple syrup on your bacon, Larry. That's perfectly acceptable. I love maple syrup on eggs. I and prefer on bacon. Vermont uh, uh, maple syrup than to Canadian maple syrup, but that's just me. Mm-hmm. That's just me. In Canada, you can get a candy called Smarties. It is not the same Smarties you get in a Halloween bag here in the USA. These are chocolate covered, similar to M and M's, but they taste unique. Oh, do they do Halloween in Canada? I don't know. Maybe they do. They uh, taste like Skittles. Maybe. And then this coffee crisp, a candy bar that's kind of like a, a thick mocha flavored Kit Kat bar. Uh huh. Yeah. Coffee crisp sounds good, actually. Yeah. Uh, you, you can get crushed orange soda in the USA. Up in Canada, you can get crushed cream soda. See, I would. I think I'd like that. I, I'm. I, yeah, I, I. I like cream soda. Uh, Tim Hortons. Do we have Tim Hortons in the USA? We do not. It's a sporting goods store. Oh. Um, we we have them in parts of the U.S., but it's a very Canadian. It's like uh, the Dicks of Canada. <laughs> really? Okay. So Dick's but this. Goods. But this is donuts. This is Tim Hortons donuts. Tim Hort. I thought he did. Uh, maybe it's a donut place. I'm getting. I'm getting them confused. Yeah. Never mind. Tim Hortons. There's a, uh, never mind. You can get a Canadian... Oh, Galen, have you ever had a Canadian maple syrup donut? No, that sounds delicious. It does sound it delicious. Sounds good. Canadian maple syrup donut. Yeah, that sounds good. Sounds Tim Hortons is a coffee donut place. It's like Dunkin' Donuts, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, and they have the Canadian uh, maple syrup donut there. Mmm, yummy. What the heck is the name of the sporting goods? Like I don't know. Anyway, Come on, you're on, the, you're on the air. <laughs> Yeah, good morning. This hey, uh, up in Canada, too, it's very popular to put vinegar on your French fries and potato chips. You'll see a little dispenser sure. on the table when you go to these fast food places. So I yeah. tried it, and I had to turn my French fries back in. It really wrecked them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. Oh, well, that's fish and chips, right? That's when you go and you get fish and chips. Right. Like Long John They're going to put yeah. vinegar on it. You get vinegar. Yeah, I mean, that's not uncommon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So there you go. The, good with that. The last one is Kraft Dinner, but I can't uh, I can't understand exactly why Kraft Dinner is on this list because we have Kraft Dinner here. Well, maybe it's a special Canadian Kraft version. Dinner. It says, uh, if you ever have a friend going to Canada, request that he bring back Canadian Kraft Dinner. It is different than American Kraft Dinner. Wow. Okay. I don't know what Kraft Dinner is. It's it's uh, macaroni and cheese. It's the the, the cheap version. Hmm. It's uh, the, the the one, one in the box. The one in the box with, with the. With the, powder. the powdered yeah, cheese. That you mix with milk. Yeah. I, think, well, I just call that macaroni and cheese. I didn't know it was a dinner. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, thank you, Louise Gardner. Oh, that was fun. Yeah, that was awesome. From Vancouver, thank British. Thank you for our tour through the cuisine Columbia. of Canada. <laughs> and we were talking, Gail and I were talking during the break. There is no Canadian restaurant. There's a French restaurant. You have a German restaurant. You have an Italian restaurant. Mm-hmm. Indian restaurant. Greek restaurant around here, right? Oh, we need to have Canadian. one of those then. We need to have a Canadian, Canadian restaurant. restaurant. No, I think, uh, I think people are really worried that the service would be really slow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a joke. 
And How there'd be no you? parking. <laughs> yeah. You park well, everybody would be parked crooked. And, uh, <laughs> you know, because, and there would be a lot of RVs in the lot. <laughs> so, and trailers. <laughs> but I, I, I passed the other day, this, that there was a big RV, and he was carrying a trailer and a car. <gasps> Wow! This funny. thing had to be it had to be forty feet long. Robin's wow. funny. Robin's funny observation is how come they have that big vehicle and they can fit everything in it except for the folding chairs? Exactly. The folding chairs are <laughs> strapped to the back. Hanging on the back. or the or the ladder. You know where they have the ladder, you know, bungee corded to the back, and it's been there for like twenty two years. Yeah. <laughs> Gail, where's the that blood? Always cracks me up. Where's the All blood right. mobile today? Where's the blood mobile? Uh, Bloodmobile today is at the uh, Frank DeLuca YMCA. All right. Okay. Go to the YMCA yeah, and then find a time today to get some Canadian Food. pea bacon, whatever that thing was. So, Larry, you need to go work out and then go watch an, uh, a baseball game. That's what and, I want to do. Uh, Galen, have a great day. For you. <laughs> All right, you guys are the best. Bye. 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 Emily and Wu, voters from Vermont to American Samoa making their Super Tuesday picks. 11 states awarding delegates in each party in the spotlight. Texas, 155 GOP 